Welcome to another episode of Crime Pays of Bonnie Resident. Today we're out here in West Texas looking for a new species in the sunflower family, Astraceae. This is a species that is probably undescribed. This is probably new to science. And looking where it grows, it's easy to understand why. And uh, looking at the habit of it, it's uh, also easy to understand why. I mean, you're looking at it right there. It's in the frame. So, <laughs> it's... Uh, that's what we're that's what we're doing. See those little it looks like someone like dropped some old q tips. That's it. Just just heavily woolly, heavily linate. All right, incredibly tomentose. It's I mean it's basically been selected for by one of the, the driest deserts in uh in North America. And so uh, you know, that's why it looks the way it does. Also, it's it's the dry season. It was flowering two months ago. It's an annual, so it flowers once, produces seed, then dies. There's probably a ton of seed right here. It's all over the ground. It grows on limestone, and uh, yeah, we're even though we're late to when it flowered, we're still uh, we still had to come check it out, see for ourselves. So, look, this is lush for this area. See how green it is on a map. This is a big green bar. <laughs> so all that is just barren. It's just creosote bush. And a Fedra and some uh, Senegalia, some cat claw. Beautiful band, beautiful bands of limestone. That Cretaceous limestone, nice aerial carpus just sandwiched in between the layers there. It is incredibly dry though, like ridiculously dry. Looking for this new species of composite that. Uh, Recently got found is a kind of uh, cactus horizontalonius. It's got a nice little castle there. Look at it. See, there's everybody's favorite Cretaceous marine fossil in Oceramus. R.I.P. I don't think it made it through the KT extinction, but it, uh, it's a beautiful. That's a beautiful bivalve. You so ubiquitous in Central Texas and West Texas limestone. So here it is. It's not much to look at because <laughs> it's like a month and a half after flowering, but not just the new species, possibly a new genus, according to uh, Dr. Powell, the herbarium curator at Suleros. Long ass ligules on it when it's going off. You can't see that now. So this is something only a botanist could get excited about. It's dry as hell, it's crispy, you can't even see the ligules, these long ass rays that it's got, but you can get an idea of the habitat and the many factors which have selected for this plant over time and why it's so goddamn woolly. Because it grows on this uh, calcium rich limestone, which is already stressful, super high pH, which uh, fucks with nutrient availability and that's why this thing looks like a goddamn cotton swab. It's just, it's wild that you know, in the 21st century, there's still so many undescribed species to be found, uh, you know, in places where you normally assume people would have would have been. You're doing good, Louie. Thank you. Had to leave Jack at the car. You know, he's kind of old. Deb Manning found this. So shout out to Deb Manning. God, it's so quiet. I'm not used to it. You can really tell how deaf you are as a human just from all the noise you're constantly exposed to. When you're out in the middle of nowhere and it's super quiet. Look, the 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 flowers of a Echinocactus horizontalonius are ensconced in uh, trichomes in, in a jacket of hairs. See that pink in there? You can see the, the perianth. You can see the flower deep in there. Those hairs, no doubt, are protecting it from drying out. It is so fucking dry. It's a protective mechanism against desiccation. Areocarpus, nice areocarpus. Now look at that beautiful warty texture. So you get these little limestone troughs, you know, these are just old, the the way it, it weathers, it's the old uh, bedding planes, you know. That's one point in time, that's an older point in time, and that's an older point in time. So it makes these little steps. And so in the, in like right in the center of these little steps is where this plant is. Holy shit, there's a bunch of it right there, look at that. This is all that new species, unknown to science. Until until Deb Manning found it. She was just out for a stroll in the middle of the desert. It was blooming in March. It's 
what the fuck day is? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Whatever. It's it's late April. It's gonna be May, but this is this thing is everywhere. But you could see how you would just assume it's like a diaperior or one of those little, you know, there's so many damn yellow composites that are just tiny you wouldn't ignore, but this thing is heavily linate. Very, very woolly. Look at that. New species. And then those ligules really give it away. Can you even see the ligules? Yeah, a little bit. Those long-ass ligules. See that? Those kind of beige things poking out of the white. So I guess they're going to describe it. But, you know, they got to, it's a, you know, it's a big pain in the ass. They have to get permits and all that stuff because it's a, it's a, uh, a special site. Areocarpus at sunset. Blues before sunrise. Now, anybody remember that NPR? That was an NPR blues show in the 90s. I used to listen to it before I went out and, you know, caused teen vandalism when I was a young, a young man. Okay, kind of, it kind of cactus horizontalonius and some beautiful areas. See that? It's even up here. So the population is somewhat big. See those folded leaves, folded triangular leaves, right? Um, the, uh, from above, it almost looks like a star. And then you see those ligules, those yellow ligules, and it's, it's a dead giveaway. Those it's, it, exceptionally elongated ligules. See those? Again, it's fucking dead, so it doesn't look like much. But trust me, when this thing's lit up... It's got candy cane striped ligules, those long yellow rods poking out of that white Corolla. That's insane. You can't even see any green on it. It's been so selected for by this this dry climate. You're not supposed to have a dog in the park, but Jesus, I got a service animal card because I'm fucking nuts. That's why. And I'll tell the I'll tell the cop that they fucked with me for having a dog in a park before. I said, sir, I'm fucking nuts. Here's my paperwork. Leave me leave me alone. Go go scram. Officer Martinez. Where's Officer Martinez now? He wrote me like six tickets. I got five dismissed. All but one. Schmuck. Then I had a dildo in the car too, which I bought as a gag, you know, as one does when they're in a porn shop in Muskogee, Oklahoma, which I just went into because it was it had a nice pink paint job, you know. Officer Martinez didn't like it when I shouted across the parking lot to him as I was being detained by other National Park Police. Officer Martinez, there's a dildo in the front seat. Don't be alarmed. It poses no threat to you. He did not like that. Officer Martinez did not like that. All right, he's good. You get that young machismo hard on thing going. God, I love fucking with certain cops. Some cops are nice. Others just certainly deserve to be fucked with. But only if you're in a position to do so and they can't bash your head in, you know, or beat your ass. As has happened to me before. Look at that. Ensconced. Ensconced in the limestone. Sunk in like whack-a-mole. Like a whack-a-mole that's been hammered. God, they, these, some of these fucking heliocarpus. Such beasts. I'll never understand how they do it. How do they do it? Natural selection, millions of years, and a phenotypic variation. Being selected for, phenotypes being selected for over millions of years by the environment. The plant doesn't know what a rock looks like. It doesn't know what to do. Okay? The environment selects for it. And the, and the lineage either hits a brick wall and goes extinct, or it uh, it adapts. Individuals within the population adapt, and then those thrive, while other individuals might die. They may do die. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Got such an eye for him now. I love him. Hey, shit, how, where, the fuck, where the fuck am I going? We're just bushwhacking out here. Look at that beautiful sunset. It's not 90 degrees anymore. It's only like 85. It's going to continue dropping beautiful night for a walk across the chihuahua desert look at all the dacelerian everything's crispy the creosote all the budaluas it's okay It'll be a nice walk anyway that's all i got have a great rest of your day go fuck yourself i hopefully they'll describe this thing soon oh this is so sad this is the kind of plant you see and it just makes you want to puke it makes me want to puke because i think of bank landscaping uh suburban california horticulture it doesn't you know just there's no context it's just a plant you think of it's one of those plants you see in the store and it's labeled as foliage it's too bad but it's pitosporum it's the genus pitosporum order of carrots apiales and it's a super diverse genus 9,000 miles away from here in new zealand uh, i think it's in africa to australia uh, southeast asia wonderful wonderful genus 
really cool. There's some really rare members of it. Uh, plants are dioecious, etc. But you know, here there's no context for it. It's just a fucking trash plant. I see it and it makes me want to vomit instantly. But you know, and no one ever bothers to actually look at the uh, at the genus name, which is a uh, too too bad. So it's also a cultivar, so it doesn't occur in nature. It's something that's been bred by people from a wild species. This uh, individual with the stupid variegated foliage. All right, so I gotta go fix it. Bye. There's one of them fucking native bees. They always they always dip out before I can get any photos. Look at him shake his little ass. God, that stig look at that stigma too. That's beautiful. Oh look, he's in there. He's in there. How many lobes does that green stigma have? Oh shit, who's that? Which one is that? I gotta get my macro lens out. The fucking native bees of the desert are so cool. God, the son of Gaia smells good Jesus Christ you know what these Berberus these agarita they're actually they're actually not too bad the problem is just getting them off the plant which is painful god damn it they, you know they're, they're kind of tangy good source of vitamin C you just spit out the seeds see that every plant out there that you're looking at is basically a legume it's Senegalia it's Prosopis aka Mesquite now Naltuma it's a legume. Legumes hold all this shit together. If it wasn't for the legumes, you just have a bunch of little asteraceous forbs and what the shit. None of the cacti. The cacti can't grow out in the open under this shit. It's too fucking hot. It's only, it's like not even May and it's already 95 during the day. Those legumes are the cornerstone of the ecosystem. See, there's a mesquite, Senegalia, you got Vichelia vernicosa out there too. Got a nice Berberus trifolio lot over there. There you go, big ripper. Look at that. The West Texas ecotype of Hematocactus hematocanthus, which used to be grouped in Ferrocactus, though it's actually not that closely related to Ferrocactus, entirely different genus, looks way different than the South Texas ecotype, which is more green and has a much different habit and the, the not doesn't have those long ass spines. Ah, oh, look at it! How do you not love that? Look at all that, all that green, all that limestone, those limestone mesas. This is where the North American continent really starts to get squeezed out like a sponge as you move west. Just really gets a lot drier west of here. Look at all that lime. All the Cretaceous coccolithophores and foraminifera. Ah, building their little single-celled shells, their single-celled bodies out of calcium carbonate and slowly accumulating in a calcareous ooze at the bottom of a Cretaceous ocean. Ah, cylindro puncha, imbricata. You, you, you almost forgive it for being so mean. I'm gonna get some pollinators here. I'm gonna get some pollinators here. Look at those goddamn magenta. Again, beta lane pigments, because order caryophyllales, which spinach and cactus are in. Oh, there's, there you go, there's a guy in there. Uh, produce beta lanes in lieu of anthocyanin pigments. All right, same, uh, same pigmentation that beets have. You can see it in those leaves too. Oh shit, who's that? Is that another Melisodes? No, I don't know who, who, who's that guy? Who's that, who's that cool native bee? That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful plant right there. See, this, this one's got beetles hanging out of it. I always like the beetles because they tend to lurk. You know, they're more agreeable. I'll see they go in there. They're, he's down there at the base of them stamens, moving them stamens around. See that? Just eating pollen, just gorging himself on pollen. But he's because they, they got to be going between flowers, all right? Because you got to get, or hopefully, between plants. You get good cross pollination. You know, so many choyas are just clones of each other anyway. Oh, it looks like I missed the party. I heard there was baseball size hailfall. Look at some of that West Texas sprinkle. It was 95 degrees half an hour back. You get a cold front, and suddenly. Suddenly it's an ice storm. Look at that, all that limestone draped in hail. I wonder how much damage is. Let me see if we can go find some uh, cracked windshields anywhere. Too bad I didn't bring a cooler. Oh, you know what, wait, I got, I do have a cooler. <laughs> That's, a little West Texas sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle. You see, it's just a sprinkle. It's just a little sprinkle. It's just a West Texas, it's just a shower. Holy fuck. Ah. That's nice.
Jesus, you really just, you know, Jack, I meant to give you half of that, not the whole thing. Look at that. Jesus Christ. You're supposed to share with, with Louie. You just scarfed down a whole slice of pizza by yourself. Goddamn, how about some spicy brisket for your colon? That's what I said. Welcome to the Texas car slum. Turn pre-diabetic at age 35 from a sedentary lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Look at you in your little hole. Yeah, you think you're so cute? Mm -hmm, huh? Yeah, why don't you come out of there, eh? Come out of there, you filthy fuck. Huh? Poke your head out your little hole. Huh? Oh, God, I love Xylocopa. Oh, yeah.